What's up everybody, Sports Car Mafia here. And today, I did a GMA submission. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience and why I chose to go with GMA. Um, hope you guys will stick around and let's get started. All right, I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, so I'm making this video um, to kind of document my experience uh, with GMA and why I chose to go with GMA um, and first of all I want to say I want to make this pretty clear I, I'm not looking for an argument or a debate about which which grading company is better um, you know it's obvious that the top three are PSA BGS SGC bottom line uh, I'm not debating that um, but there is GMA and I think it could be a positive for some people. I think there's some people on the fence. I've been getting a lot of questions about um, should they use GMA. I've been seeing, starting to see things on Instagram about using GMA. And, um, you know, I, I'm, my goal is to help the people that may be on the fence about using this company uh, or not using this company. So I'm not endorsing anybody. Um, and but I am going to try to make some points on why I chose to go with them. So, so the number one reason I chose to go with um, <clears throat> GMA is the turnaround time. I submitted an order to uh, SGC, and I really love their slabs. Um, they may be able to work on the label a little bit, but whatever. So um, I'm still waiting on that order. I submitted it back um, in June. So... You know, I know they got backed up. You know, I think that um, the president or whatever, he probably should have kept his mouth closed about, um, you know, instead of trying to be Mr. Big Dick Cheney out here. But I think they're trying to do better. I don't know. They 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 got behind. They bit off a little more than, than they can chew. But um, so I wanted to see, I wanted to check out the turnaround times. And also I wanted to check out the quality of the work. Um now, number two, I buy a lot of cards on eBay, and, you know, they look good in the pictures, but then I get them, and they're just not worth submitting to PSA or BGS or SGC. So, you know, what do you do with those cards? Do you throw them away? Do you give them away? Um, what do you do? Um, do you try to resell them raw, hold them until the value goes up a little bit? But here's the issue I have with um, holding on to them or trying to sell them, resell them raw. Um, people are going to send them back. I've had a couple people send things back, and I'm like, really? And, you know, people aren't graders. Sellers aren't graders. Um, cards don't come perfectly out of packs every time. It's just unfair to think that way. So that's why I decided to go with GMA. I want to... I, want, I don't want to sell raw cards on eBay anymore. I want to get them in a slab. First of all, get a professional eye on them. You know, and whether some people might argue, well, they're not professional. Well, yeah, they are. They're a professional grading company. You're paying them. People pay them to, to grade the cards. So, I mean, they know what they're doing. So get a professional eye on them. Get them in a slab. Get them protected. And then I can present them on eBay or wherever I'm going to sell them as as a graded card and you, people can have a better idea and understanding of what they're buying so they're not surprised when they get the card so that was a, a big reason why I chose to go with GMA um, now another reason is because uh, you know a lot of people don't have money for PSA 10s you're looking at one of them I, I just you know, I got little little sports car mafia mouths to feed. I don't have the money to be investing in tens and nines and PSA tens and nines. So, you know, I realized that. So, why not get them graded by a cheaper company? I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic here. Uh, Forty million people without a job. I think. You know, maybe they want to be in the hobby and they can't afford to be in the hobby. So it gives them a cheaper option when buying and which brings me to my next point um, is good for the buyer and the seller now if you're looking to flip you can make a couple bucks doing it um, there is a downside of that there's a 
big gap between um, the profit margin when you're selling it, if you're selling um, GMA versus PSA, you're just going to get a lot more if you if you if you use PSA. Um, but you can flip them, and you can kind of build that way. Um, but it also works out good for the buyer as well. I think this is the buyer gets the best deal here in this situation because you know a GMA from my expense they they get it in the ballpark most of the time I mean it's it's usually a little probably be a little lower but um they grade a little they're they're a little they're they're a little generous with their grading but they get it in the ballpark and um I think that's a huge plus for buyers so that's a good thing now and then I was thinking you know there's so many people coming in. There's kids that want to be involved in this. Now, somebody's parents not going to buy them, buy an eight or ten year old a PSA ten. I mean, they might, but what if it's the people who can't afford it? It gives them a cheaper option to go with. You know, the kid gets a slab. They're happy. Um, they get it at a discounted price. So it's just win win. So buyers are, are going to reap a lot of benefit from um, people who make these GMA submissions. All right, I'm talking a lot, guys. So um, at the time I submitted these, um, it was $4 per card, and there was a 10-day turnaround. Um, it took me 11 days to get the cards back, so they were on point with that, which I was very pleased with that. Um, now, during that time the 11 days that I was waiting, they went up to $5 per card and now they have a 14 day turnaround. So obviously people are starting to submit a little more to them. Um, but you know, I taught enough. Let's get into the uh, cars and check out the grades. Okay. All right, everybody. So I did a 40 card submission and like I said, I got these back last week, so it's not going to be a surprise. I already know exactly what I have. And uh, like I said, I sold, about five of them already. Now, you see that stack right there, that, that stack. Let's see what we got. So break it down a little bit. First we have a Shea Gildas Alexander, which I got a 10 on. Um, it looked pretty good. I pulled that out of a pack, so I said, what the heck? I don't know how much I can get for that. Nothing right now, probably. King Griffey Jr. Got a 10 on it. Uh, now, there's a little place on the end right here. I don't know. But everything else looks pretty clean. Maybe the edge. I don't know if it deserves a 10, but pretty close. I'd say a 9 if PSA. Um, Kyle Kuzma. There's a little smudge right there. He gave it a 9. Everything else looks pretty, pretty sharp, so... Uh, had to hit it spot on with that. I've got a Luca Essentials right here. They give me a nine. I had two of these. I sold one already. It was an eight point five. It was a Dean Corner. They nailed that one. So, uh, I mean, they nailed the grade. They did good on that one. Uh, sold it pretty quick. Um, this one got a nine. I think they did pretty good on that one. Another Luca Essentials rookie. Uh, 10. That yeah, looks pretty pretty good to me. Might get a 9, 9.5 um, with PSA. But I was pleased with that grade. Little Zion I picked up. Got a 10. Another Zion got a 10. Now this looks a little off-center to me a little bit. Uh, let's see. Maybe from top to bottom slightly. I don't know if it's deserving of a 10. Maybe a 9. And another one. Got a 10. Now, here's what I'm talking about, guys. These were probably sell for about 150 bucks. They were graded by PSA at 10. Um, these, even though they're a 10, um, I, I may get I may get 50 bucks. Maybe 75, maybe, uh, currently, would be my guess. But it looks slightly off-center. This might be a 9. Uh, but still, this is a, 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 
a prime example like like you can resubmit this this would be a good candidate for a resubmission um, even though you get probably a nine you'd still make money on that Devonte Graham now this one was sharp I knew this was gonna grade well it was it looked pretty good so loving that another Devonte now this got a nine I can't figure out why I think these are kind of hard grade these prisms anyway but I'll take it I got paid four dollars for that so now that came in a lot another Devonte Graham purple hollow got a nine Anthony Davis rookie sticker Carlo nine it's got a little place right there I think they nailed this one I think they did a good job right now it's got to see I don't know if you can see it right here but um, otherwise it looked good so I'm pretty pleased with that Anthony Davis I thought the center one was fairly centering was fairly well on this one so uh, maybe a little off uh, bottom to top but he got a 10 it'd probably be, be more like a nine so once again guys they're in the ballpark some of the you know these these would be perfect for uh submitting the PSA they look pretty good I mean these are sharp right here all these soccer cards I got right there they're pretty centered pretty well centered uh, shouldn't have a problem selling those on to the next stack let's break it down messy you got some drama going on with him right now I got a 10 on that so you see guys are giving me a lot of tens um, so, but all these look good. All these look fairly good. That might be a little off center top to bottom. I don't know. Still in the ballpark. Another Ronaldo. They gave me a 10 on. Another Ronaldo. They gave me a 10 on. Of course, I thought these were great pretty well. They had, they look sharp. Here's one they gave me a nine on. Now I think this one might have had a couple little pits in it or something like that. But uh so I think they did a good job. Back looks pretty good. So pretty pleased with that. Another 10, Ronaldo. Another 10, Messi. Another 10, Messi. Another 10. Ronaldo. Once again, those look pretty good. Cool. Uh, LeBron Blue Velocity. Now, to me, this looked a little off center from uh, left to right, but they gave me a 10. I think that'd probably be about a 9. Um, everything else looks very good on it. So, I don't know. Whatever. LeBron Spiral. That looked good. It's got a 10. Another LeBron Spiral. Another 10. Which I think those would be good candidates too for uh, submitting to PSA or another company. Now this one, guys. I showed this one in one of my videos. This kind of concerned me. So I got a 10 on this. And this thing looks flawless from the front. Man. It looks good. Corners look good. Everything looks good on this thing. This thing is a beautiful car, but when you flip it over, you see that that corner right there? It's not bent. It looks like the clear is coming up a little bit. Something's up with the, I don't know if you can see it, but they didn't ding it at all. And so it made me question, did they just gray the front? Or do they not grade the back? Are they not as hard on the back? I mean, what's, what's going on with that? So I was a little bit disappointed with that grade. Even though it got me a 10, I am probably want to resell this. So I'm going to have to point that out in my listing. But I think that would be, with that corner, I, I would guess probably about, man, 8.5 with that corner. So... Not sure how they missed that, but um, kind of concerned me on that. Nice little Kuzma here, a little prism. 10, that one looked really good too, so 
Lonzo Ball Spiral. Got a 10. That one looked really good as well. So, uh, happy with that. Now, this Damian Lillard right here. I, here's the thing, guys. Like, a card like this um, has the potential to go up a lot. Um, they gave me a 10 on it. It looked very good. Now, this is something I would probably would rather submit to PSA, BGS, or SGC because it's kind of, you know, this, this is what I mean by the resale value. I won't get as much for this. I mean, if, as I would, if it was in a PSA slab. So, you know, I think that that's the problem right now with this market is that people are sending anything and everything to PSA and BGS and SGC, even the base cards like that Shea, uh, Shea Gilgis. Um, stuff like that, in my opinion, a lot of that shouldn't go to PSA. That's just my opinion. But something like this should. Now, I, I kind of probably hurt myself by getting this graded by GMA. I won't get as much for it, but I, I like it, so I'm holding on to it. Um, I think... Another point, GMA is good for collectors. Like, if you, for PC, if, you know, you can find good deals for the PC. So, um, yeah. Here's another one. Once again, this looks this looks pretty good to me. I mean, this might grade a 10 PSA. So, it's like they did a good job on that. But once again, this, the resale value won't be as high. So, that kind of hurts. And then I just threw a little Jeter in there. I paid like a dollar or something for that. Got a 10. It looked pretty good. Um, so, that's that. So, as y'all can see, I got a lot of 10s in that group. Um, like I said, I think a lot of them should have maybe gotten 9s, maybe deserved 9. But, they're in the ballpark, so I can't complain. That's what I mean by the buyer getting a good deal. They can resubmit some of these cards, and even if they grade a little lower, they're still going to make a good profit margin if um, they grade well with PSA. Um, so at least you know what you're buying when you buy a GMA card. I mean, they're pretty decent. You know, I, I see a lot of people on Instagram making comments, GMA's trash, uh, don't get GMA graded card, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? Maybe it's their perspective that's trash. Um, because it's like a, it's like a kid in school that has a pair of Jordans on and they look at the other kid and he may have a pair of Gordons on and they say, oh, well, those aren't Jordans. Those are Gordons. I mean, Hey, you don't know the kid's situation. He may be proud of those shoes before, you know, the other guy bullied him. But, um, so I kind of feel like there's some of that going on in the car market. Um, and, you know, I don't really like that. So, but guys, I hope this kind of helped you, um, see my point of view on GMA cards. I don't know if I'll submit it again. I probably will to try to flip some of my cards that, that I wouldn't be able to get rid of otherwise. Um. So I'm going to try that out, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, if, if they get backed up in three months, then no, I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to use them because, you know, I'm not, I, I could just go wait at a more reputable, um, company. I don't want to say reputable, but you know what I mean? One of the, one of the big dogs. So, but overall, I think they do a pretty decent part the uh, job. They get it in the ballpark, and that's about what I was looking for. Except that LeBron now, that that it's kind of unfortunate, but um, that kind of looks like they're just handing out tens, and but everything else looked pretty good, like I said. So, guys, I hope you found some value in this, and you can see why I chose to go the GMA route. So, if you're on the fence about GMA, I hope this helped you. Um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, be coming out with a football pick video soon. I'm getting pumped up about football, so I got some pretty good picks. I think I can make you guys some money, so stay tuned. Oh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. I need all the subscribers I can get.